Old newspapers are chock full of odd little reports. And so, for today, I am going to share a handful of those reports from 1917. Let's start off with a man who raised a few suspicions after buying up a bunch of booze. Thomas Callow, arrested as vagrant, had $145 and six quart bottles of whiskey. He was afraid Belvedere would go dry. Freed. Being arrested for booze is nothing compared to this next story, so let's take a quick look at a place once known as Dunning, more formally known as Cook County Insane Asylum. Dunning was a place most people feared, and the threat of being sent to Dunning was always on people's minds. Here is one person who managed to escape the asylum. Jasper Glary escaped from Dunning. He was caught in a federal building as he was looking for a job as a government spy. Sent back. The saloons of the past were almost as terrifying as the insane asylums. For instance, Joseph Suzuki, Baker, dead, hit by a beer bottle in saloon fight, assailant unknown. Of course, sometimes in-laws were the scariest of all, as we see in this case for divorce. Mrs. Clarence Toller said husband was cruel, and mother-in-law put dirty soap in her biscuits. Marital bliss has always been something of a myth, at least in my opinion. Of course, there are plenty of news reports to back up my beliefs. For instance, Lawrence Cooney, policeman, was going to move away from wife. She took his pants and kept him in, then went to court. And finally, of all the stupid arrests I've read about in the old newspapers, this one nearly tops them all. According to one report, While the nation is today celebrating Washington's birthday, Paul Haffer, a young socialist, lies in jail for defaming the memory of the first president. Haffer publicly asserted that Washington had been intemperate, swore like a trooper, and was a slave owner. A six-month prison sentence was the outcome. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Stranger Go for more odd stories from the past. Take care.